Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome, or welcome back, to my crochet channel. Today, I am super excited about what we're going to do. We're going to begin our PW, which means Pioneer Woman, Five Spice Throw Blanket Crochet Along. Why do we call it Five Spice? There's several reasons. We're going to be using five different colorways of the light Pioneer Woman yarn. And we'll talk more about that in just a second. And then we're going to be using five different stitches plus a sixth stitch <laughs> for the trim. It's going to be a lot of fun. And so what we're going to do starting today, we'll do the supplies, of course, and step one. And then tomorrow, Tuesday, step two will come out. Then on Wednesday, step three will come out. Then on Thursday, step four will come out. And on Friday, step five will come out, all with written patterns and videos. Then on Monday, a week from today, we'll do the trim and finish it all up, make it all pretty and gorgeous. <laughs> and then once that's done, It'll all be put in a playlist each day so that you can find each day's videos. And we'll just have a playlist called PW5 Spice Throw Blanket. Okay? Uh, crochet along, of course. And then you can go there anytime and get them. You don't have to work it today. <laughs> It'll always be there for you whenever you have time. All right, I'm super excited about this. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing your progress. Now, if you want to post pictures so that I can see your progress as you work along with me, or even later, you can always post pictures to the Coffee and Crochet with Sarah Facebook group. That's the only place that you can post pictures except for on Ravelry. And I will <clears throat> list this on next Monday on our Ravelry, in my Ravelry uh, shop, and there'll be a PDF file that you can download there as well. And so I'm trying to make it accessible. There will be a written pattern with pictures every day, and that blog link will be down under the notes underneath this video. Now, be sure and click that refresh button every day so that you get every day's new pattern, notes, and just extra stuff and pictures, okay? All right, let's go find out what we need. The blanket, when completed, is going to measure approximately 36 inches wide and 48 inches long, all right? And it's going to have five different stitch patterns with these five different yarns. Now I need to clarify just so that you understand we are using one of each of the light number three acrylic yarns. All right, so we have coral stripes. We have coral. This is brilliant blooms. This one is teal stripes. <clears throat> and this one is just blue. Okay, and so we're going to be doing a section with each of these yarns, and then we're going to repeat those sections. So we'll do five sections, and then we'll repeat those three more times to complete our blanket. All right, each day I'm going to show you how to do one stitch pattern with one of the yarns. Now, you can purchase these yarns at Walmart or at walmart.com. As far as I know, that's the only place that I have found them. Now, some people have been reporting that they have found them on eBay and Amazon. And what that is, is people have gone in and bought them and then they're reselling them. So if you're having trouble finding them, just search. You can find them. I have not found them at the Pioneer Woman site as of yet. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they're just exclusively at Walmart. All right, so each one is three and a half ounces, about 394 yards. And so if you want to use a different yarn, you're going to need five skeins of three and a half ounces or 394 yards times five. 
okay? Now, I was going to choose another color to use for the trim, but when I completed my blanket, I had plenty of my others left, so I just used my leftovers for the trim, all right? So you don't need to buy any other yarn for the trim, all right? So to bottom line it, you need one skein or ball of each of the five Pioneer Woman Light Number no. 3 acrylic yarns. We're going to be stitching all of the patterns with an H hook, 5.0 millimeter crochet hook, and then besides that, all you're going to need is a pair of scissors and a needle, which just rolled off. <laughs> you're going to need a needle just for weaving in all those ends. So for today's video, I'm going to be demoing stitch number one, which we're calling just a granny stitch. It's a little different than your basic granny stitch. We're only using two double crochets. And for this particular section, which is the beginning, we're going to be using the coral stripes for the first portion, part one of our five spice throw blanket. So we're going to begin with making foundation double crochets as our foundation row. So we're going to make our slip knot. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. Yarn over, go in that fourth chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, just go through that first loop. Yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over and go through the next two. So now we yarn over, we go in that chain that we made. And so basically we're making our chain and our found in our double crochet at the same time when we stitch a foundation double crochet. I like to use this on blankets. I think it makes it a lot easier to count your stitches. All right, so you're going to need to stitch 110 foundation double crochets. Also, I want you to count this chain three right here as your first stitch. Something that you can do in order to keep track of your stitches is to grab your stitch markers and mark, you know, about every 10 stitches, and then you don't have to keep recounting. Now, I am not going to be stitching 110. I'm only going to stitch 26. That way, I'm just going to work with the swatch in order to teach you the stitches that we're doing. So we're going to do a row of foundation double crochets. You need 110 and count that chain three, and I'm going to make 26, all right? So let's get started on our row of foundation double crochets. So you're going to need a total of 110 foundation double crochets, and remember to count this chain three as your first. Of course, I'm just working off a swatch to show you the stitches. All right, so we're going to chain three and turn our work. Now we're going to begin our first stitch pattern for our blanket. We're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Our chain three will count as the first double crochet on every row, all right? So now we're going to chain two we're going to skip the next two stitches and stitch a double crochet in the next two. Chain two, skip the next two, and a double crochet in the next two. And this is the repeat for row two. This is the setup for our granny stitch pattern. Now, normally a granny stitch pattern has three double crochets, but we're not doing that. We're only doing two, all right? And so you'll work this all the way across your row, chain two, skip two double crochets, one double crochet in the next two, working all the way across your row for row two. So once you have repeated that working all the way across, 
chain two, skip two, and you're going to place one double crochet in those last two double crochet stitches. And of course that last one is that chain three where we started. And then chain three. All right. You're still going to have 110 stitches total, but you're going to have those double crochets, chain two, skip two, double crochet across. All right. And that's the way that row two should look. Of course, mine's a lot smaller because it is a swatch, but that is the way that it should look for row two. Only you'll have a lot more stitches. <laughs> so we chained three. We're going to turn our work. We're again going to use that chain three as our first double crochet and then stitch a double crochet in our next double crochet. Now that brings us to our first chain two space and we're going to stitch two double crochets in that chain two space. So one and two. Now we're going to chain two, skip the next two double crochets and stitch two double crochets in the next chain two space. All right, so we have two double crochets and then we have two in that chain two space. We skip two, we skip these two double crochets and stitch two in the next chain two space. And that's our repeat across two double crochets, skip those two double crochets and stitch two double crochets in the chain two space. And that's our repeat for row three. And we'll repeat that all the way across, chain two, skip two, two double crochets in the chain two space. And we'll repeat this all the way across till we reach those last two double crochets. So once you have repeated that all the way across, there's my last two double crochets in my last chain two space. We're not going to chain two, we're going to stitch a double crochet in those last two stitches. Whoops, get in there. <laughs> there we go. And chain three. This is how row three should look. Of course, you're going to have a lot more stitches, but we have those four double crochets, chain two, skip two, and then two double crochets in the chain two space all the way across. And then here's our two double crochets in our last chain two space and one double crochet in the last two and chain three. So we'll turn our work. Again, this chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we'll double crochet in the next stitch and chain two. We're going to skip these two double crochets and double crochet in the next chain two space. And we'll do that two times for two double crochets and chain two. And this is our repeat for row four. So basically row four is similar to row two. Only we're placing our two double crochets in the chain two spaces, not in the stitches. All right. And so we'll just repeat this across two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the next chain two space, all the way across. So you've repeated your two double crochets, chain two in each of your chain two spaces across. Here's our last chain two, last chain two space, and then we're going to stitch, whoops, there we go, one double crochet in those last two stitches. And chain three. All right, so now we have four rows and three of those rows are our granny squares or our granny stitch, not square. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to repeat row three and row four one more time. All right, so chain three, turn, double crochet in the next double crochet. 
Then we'll double crochet two times in that chain two space, chain two, and repeat all the way across, stitching two double crochets in each of the chain two spaces, and chain two. All right, and so basically for row five, we're repeating what we did on row three. And then when you get all the way across your row, you're going to stitch two double crochets in that last two double crochets. You're stitching one double crochet in each. And chain three, all right? And then we turn our work and then we just repeat what we did down here. So double crochet in the next, chain two, and then two double crochets in the chain two space. The granny pattern is a very easy pattern and it makes a nice light row because some of the other stitches that we're going to be using on our five spice throw blanket are going to be a little bit heavier. two double crochets, chain two, skip two, two double crochets in the chain two space, chain two, skip two, just your basic granny square style stitch repeat, only we're using two double crochets instead of three. So this is how your blanket should look after row six. You've got your foundation row and then five rows of granny style stitch. Now again, this is a swatch, Yours is going to be a lot longer. When you reach your last row, row six, do not chain three because we're going to be changing colors. But I am going to cut my yarn and that's because a lot of times I will carry my yarn up the side, but to me this is too long of a carry because each of our sections of our patterns are going to be six rows, all right? All right, so this is how it should look at row six. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the actual blanket. So this is how step one of our blanket looks like. We've got, this is the trim already on there, so just ignore that, but we've got our foundation row and then our five rows of our granny stitch pattern, all right? And you can see how pretty it looks with this variegated or striping yarn in coral. All right, now step number two, we're going to be using the solid coral. All right, so step one is complete and tomorrow we'll do step two.